Yo, what is up, everybody? Today, I'm going to be doing Blaze Escalation solo, and I'm going to show y'all this build that I have for this Escalation, man, this Heroic Escalation. This Escalation is by far just the most annoying because of the behemoths, and the amps are just terrible. But um, anyway, I forgot to upload Shock Escalation, Heroic Shock Escalation. I forgot to upload it. Um, next time it comes around, I'll definitely upload it the same day I record it. So, um, yeah, I forgot to, uh, to make sure to get that done before it went out of date. Cause these, these, uh, escalations are weekly or not weekly, but they go around every, uh, every so often, every few days. But anyway, for this build for Horik Blaze Escalation, we have Urska's Blades and we have Bastion. This cell can really save you from the damage that, you know, the behemoths deal. So we want Bastion which increases our shields and we have a, um, a leap ability which extinguishes those shields for damage. So for Blizzard's Teeth, Urska Blades, we have Tough and Tough on that, Reaper's Dance, Serrated Blades, and Pangar's Claws so we can do that extra damage from the unique effect. And of course we want Tough, we want as much health as we can, uh, use Tenacious really good with that, every 100 health, 2% extra damage. We of course want Scar's Defiance. Scar's Lantern is really, really good. It's definitely probably the best Lantern right now, in my opinion. Um, because of the shields, it's really good to uh, mix and match with damage builds so you can have that extra health. It's just really a lifesaver, pretty much. We have Zeal on that so we can affect it. Uh, better effectiveness. For the helmet, we have Cunning and Galvanize on that. Shroud's helmet. We want as much damage as we can, so we have to put Cunning and Galvanize. They go hand in hand, and they're really good together. Then we have Time Weave Robes, Overpower, and Overpower on that. We're going to stagger Behemoths and do as much damage as we can while they're staggered. Tenacious and Galvanize for Boreal Might. Then for the Boots, we have Boreal March, Tenacious, and Cunning on this one. And... Torgaro staggers a lot, especially if you get the, um, for this build at least, it staggers a lot. And you get the mount, you get on top of them the whole time. Make sure you have your uh, stamina tonics. Make sure you use them so you can be on top as much as you can. So pretty much that is the, the build that we're gonna be doing today. This build, it worked out. I did it my first try and yeah, I did go down like once, but you know, it's all good. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this escalation, man.
supposed to be mine yeah. You can see your reflection in every distraction They'll make your worries disappear
I'm so happy, I can't lie. 